Hi everyone, it's Rick. I'm your friendly comic book scientist. I'm gonna clean a Star Wars number one 35 cent variant today. Just my very basic cleaning method. Nothing fancy, nothing fun about it. Hope you enjoy the video. Take care. This is my basic setup. So I have my press over here. I use a press that's not a clamshell kind. It goes straight up and down. I have 6061 aluminum plates. Top and bottom, I have some silicone sheets. I have my cleaning solution here, which I get from using these makeup pads, and then I dab it on this and pump the solution up into the pad here like that. I have some swabs that I use, cotton swabs, and my tools are down here at the bottom. I've got my scoopula, my stable remover. I've got one of my, these are my toluene solution, absorbing. This is my cleaner that I use. One of these makes Four of these is 250 milliliters, so one of these mixes up to make a liter. That's four doses of that stuff. And then here's the book, Star Wars number one. It's not really dirty even. It's wrinkled. It's not that bad. I probably honestly might just would steam and press this moment, but it's dark right here. You see that stuff? We need to get that junk out of there. And the back is also a little schmutzy. I might actually put this on a slant board and rinse it for a while. Get some of that stuff off of there, but I don't, I'm not really that invested in this book. I'm just going to do it really basically, I'm not spend a lot of time on it. And so here I go. So I've got my light on here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not going to steam this book first. I've got my pad here and I'm really just going to wipe it clean. And you'll see it, it doesn't all come off at once. So you have to kind of let it soak in for a while and then come back at it in, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And you'll see that um, it'll pick up quite a bit of stuff. So you can't, it, it's hard to tell how much while you're doing it, but when you see it later, it makes a big difference. So let's kind of wipe this up. Oh yeah, that's coming cleaner. And then one of the ways you can really tell is look at the actual pad and you'll see how much dirt you're picking up. And if this were a really glossy cover, I wouldn't do it like this because it would not be as glossy move some of that sheen, but it's not, it doesn't really make a difference. But you can see how much dirt I removed this way. And it really, it, it makes a difference when it, when you, when you just do half of the cover or you look at it before and after, it looks a lot better. And actually it, it more than that, it's actually taking some of the sulfuric acid from the cellulose decomposition out of it. So there's the cover. Let's do the back page. I might use the other, oh, I'll use a new pad. And I'm just going to pump my solution here, wipe it back off. And this book's not going to look great. We'll do it several times and then it will look a lot better. We'll take an eraser to it. But you'll see that this is a great head start. It really, if you did nothing but this, it would actually look a lot better. But you would have to go through a nice, long, dry clean to get with an eraser to get all the rest of that stuff off. But this really gives you a head start. I like it anyway. And yeah, it's coming. It's, you can feel it too. You can kind of feel these sort of tough spots and it just comes out. And then you can see how much, I don't know if you can see in this light, how much material I've removed from this book. If you go back and do this several times, it gets sort of looser and looser and you can remove even more stuff. And you'll find that the whites especially is starting to tend to look better. And that's it. So I'm now going to take some of these straws and put them under the cover and let it air dry for about an hour. It's really dry to the touch before I do any, um, if I do any heat pressing or steaming or anything. Then there's this part, which is the part that uh, people ask about the most, but uh, it seems pretty much like this information is everywhere out there. I take a piece of aluminum, it's hot, but it's 165 degrees because it's 35% humidity here today. If it was more humid, I would lower that temperature a little bit. If it was a more, less humid, I could increase it. Um, I just don't want the pages to stick together. So I'm going to 165. Now I'm going to put a piece of a silicone sheet underneath the book and on the top part of the book, I am going to put a chamfered 
This is a chamfered board. Chamfered means I've sanded this. It's really thick board, it's very hard to bend. It's 56 point, but you see how I've sanded it down here. I'm gonna put that under the front page here and tuck it in nice and tight. So it gives the spine a nice natural curve to it. Then I am going to put a piece of silicone sheet in between that cover in here, and I'm going to take another piece of silicone sheet, put that by box, and then that on top here. Like this, push it inside down, of course. Then I'm going to put one magazine size board so it's easy to fit around here. It just keeps me from putting any imperfections in my top aluminum on there. Top sheet, which has been pre warmed, it's uncomfortable but not killing me. And then I press this whole thing down. I should put a load cell in here and measure it, but I don't know the exact weight. I press it down and I'm going to give it 600 seconds or 10 minutes like this once it reaches temperature. So it's dropped in temperature here. Once it gets back up to 165, I'll start my timer. And it's, it's a heat sink, right? So it's pulling heat out of the system. And, um, yeah, we'll see if you want to, while we're waiting, you can see some of my, there's my amazing Spider-Man 347 original artwork up there, signed by Randy Emberlin. It's the Venom Island, and I've got uh, some other artwork up here, Spidey stuff. And let's see, oh, it's getting warmer now. So it gets back up to 165. I'm going to give it 600 seconds. And there we go, timer started, we'll see what happens. So let's see how we did with that Star Wars book. Uh, I didn't warm it up first, didn't give it a deep clean. It's only been one cycle, so you can't expect too much. Um, but let's see if it looks any better. And it looks okay, I guess. Well, it didn't look terrible, honestly. I thought it would look a lot worse. But the Star Wars, I'll put the light on here. The uh, Star Wars looks wider. Looks, I don't know, not great, but a little better. We have, um, let me see what the back looks like here. Yeah, it's still pretty dirty. We could go a few more laps of cleaning like this stuff here and get that out. If we keep doing, we have to do this several times to get all that stuff out, of course. It doesn't happen right away. But you know what, for one pass, for simple stuff, we got some dirt out, but it's not terrific, obviously.